Greetings, I'm Epictetus, and this is Epic Tech. Hi, how's it going? I'm back. That's right. I have returned. It's been a while. I apologize for that. Uh, I'm actually back with a new game, too. This is Space Engineers. I've been really enjoying this game. It is a lot of fun. And I decided I wanted to share it with you guys. And look at that sunrise. Isn't that gorgeous? You know, they say early to rise something. I, honestly, I'm never up early enough for sunrise outside of a game. So it doesn't really, I don't really know what that saying is. But um, yeah, that's gorgeous. This game is gorgeous. I've been really enjoying not just the look, but just how this game functions. If you haven't heard of it, Space Engineers is obviously about engineering in space, which is cool, and uh, engineering on planets, which is where we are right now. So, um, yeah, we're on a huge planet, and uh, but it's not alone. We're actually in a solar system, and if I look around here, yeah, there we go. Uh, up there, that's a Mars-like planet. We're obviously on an Earth-like planet. There's an alien planet. And you can even see a little moon outside of that uh, Mars-like planet. And there's a whole bunch of asteroids out there, too. Can't quite see those. They're too far away. But they're out there. And, uh, well, in this game, I have never been off this planet. But um, I'm hoping to do that in my next episode. But we'll talk about that later. This game is all about, well, it's all about a lot of things. It's about building ships, about building little wheeled buggies like that, and all kinds of other things about building bases. It's about flying and driving and crashing and fighting, if you want. Uh, they've got weapons and whatnot, and you can fight other players, or you can fight uh, AI, you know, um, bad guys, whatnot. And uh, you can explore you can go from planet to planet asteroid to asteroid and fly around and look and and look at what this uh, gorgeous engine has to offer and uh, and trust me it is widely varied you can you even see just from where we're standing uh, there's you know this is a nice wide plane uh, I've got another game going with some friends that has on one of the alien planets and it looks entirely different but even if we had landed up on top of one of those mountains or in one of those valleys over there it would look vastly different it's it's uh it's just it's gorgeous and expansive and a whole lot of fun and uh and yeah it's it's a challenge we're in survival mode there is a creative mode i don't normally play in creative mode um but this is uh, survival, which means I had to start with next to nothing. Uh, it's not quite like Minecraft where you can just walk up and punch a tree and work your way up from there. You do have to have some basics to begin with. So in my game here, I came down on a drop ship. Uh, there are other scenarios, um, but I came down on a drop ship. I kind of had to uh, manage to land it without crashing. That took a few tries. And then I had to build up from there. I had to go and mine for ores, and I had to process those ores in um, a refinery, and, and then you take those ores. Well, you know what? Let me show you. Let me let me show you how this game works. Um, it's It's got a little bit of Minecraftiness to it, uh, but it's different. These are, <laughs> these are my animations that I was using. Yay. Um, there are nine different hot bars and uh, you can see there's a bunch of objects on this hot bar and on this one and this one. And these are all, uh, I placed those there. These are all potential objects uh, or potential things that you can build. In order to actually build them, you have to have components. And you can see I've got bulletproof glass and interior plate and computers. And, and everything is made up of some combination of those. Uh, on the way over here, I noticed that my headlights are kind of too high. I need to be able to see the ground. And uh, I thought, you know, what better... Oh, that's rolling just a little bit. That's okay. Um, I thought, what better example than to uh, remove my spotlights and put them in a different place. What other game can you do that? 
So I'm going to take these out. They were just a little too high. I couldn't see the ground very well. And I thought, you know what? It'd be really nice to have them down here. So I'm just going to do this. Remove these bits of armored plate here. And uh, I'm going to go over to my third hot bar, this, which is where I keep... Oh, yeah, and there's two different sizes, but we'll get into that later. Um, and I'm going to place a spotlight there and a spotlight there. And you'll notice, wait a minute, that's not a spotlight. That's a... Uh, that's nothing. That's, that's just a metal framework. Well, it used one steel plate. You can see over on the side it says one steel plate, one construction component, and one interior plate. Those are the pieces required. It always uses the first one when you place it. Then you use your welder to finish it off. And you can see that the one steel plate's there, but the construction component and the interior plate aren't there. But now they are. And now we have a working headlight. And it defaults to on. And uh, we can change that in a minute because that's kind of bright and annoying. And uh, yeah. There you go. Not bad, huh? So this game is mostly about solving engineering problems. Oh, that's that sounds horrible, doesn't it? Oh, let me change the color of that. I'm going to place that back. Um, and let's see. I believe we can rotate like that. Like, maybe like, like that. Wait, what is this? That's the wrong piece. And that's the wrong piece. That's the right piece. And there we go. There we go. So we'll just go ahead and place that there and that there and get out our welder and finish those off. You notice these are just steel plates and metal grids. Like that. And looks like everything's good. So, like I said, this, is, this game is all about solving engineering problems. Like, for example, discovering that your headlights are too high and you want to move them down. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Is that a thing? Am I the only one that says that? I heard that somewhere. But, wait a minute. I want to turn on and off my headlights. You can kind of see them glowing there. Let's let's see. Let's back up a little bit. I'm going to turn off my handbrake and kind of aim them into the shadow here. See if that... Is that... Eh, it's not great, but it's not horrible. Um... It'll probably be easier to see at night. We can at least see that the headlights are on on that tree there. So this, each thing you go into, each uh, vehicle has its own set of hot bars. And uh, this was from a camera I used to have. I'm going to get rid of that. And uh, we don't need this anymore, but we do want those headlights. Now I could take them each and I could put them on this hot bar and turn them off individually. Or I can go into this complicated... Uh, control panel here. Don't worry, it's not as bad as it looks. And find my spotlights. Three and four, because my originals were one and two. Not going to worry about changing that. I can group them into lights. Save. Now I've got this group of lights, which I could come in here and toggle on and off like this. But I can also add them to my hotbar by going to groups, putting it there. <laughs> I know. It's It looks complicated. It's not that complicated. It really isn't. Most of these things you'd never use. I don't want to turn on and off blink. That's crazy. And then uh, I can turn on and off my headlights now. Isn't that neat? You can see I can do all sorts of other things. I've set up a whole bunch of different things that we can do on, on this ship. Or on this uh, buggy here. I originally had only four wheels on this. I added two more so that if I break one because it was happening all the time then I could still drive on five wheels you can't really drive on three I've discovered I break these things a lot yeah I'm always trying to travel too fast I actually set a speed limiter on here speed governor or whatever um, so that I wouldn't flip it anymore oh gosh I did all kinds of things to try and make sure that uh, I wasn't constantly breaking them. So this is my base. And uh, you can see over on the right that kind of hunk of metal there. That was well, That's what's left of the dropship I came in on. It had a lot of good stuff that I ground down and reused to make other things. I'm driving over a connector here. And uh, you can kind of see. Let's see. Uh, let's see. 
I set this up so that you see the two connectors. There's one on the bottom and one in the ground there. Well, if I uh, lower this vehicle, there's a little magnet in both of those and they will kind of connect together like that. And then I can do this and that. They are now connected to each other and I can hop out and while I'm working on other things, this will be recharging its batteries. Neat, huh? There's also uh, things like button panels and doors. And they're all really easy to configure. There's no programming, no... It's just... It's super simple. It is super simple to, uh, to set up all these connections. I could create a sensor that would automatically open those doors in certain situations. All sorts of neat things. Um... I'm not gonna go through the how everything works. I don't wanna bore you to death if you're not interested in this, but uh, uh, later on, I'm planning on doing an entire series on Space Engineers where I'll start off from scratch. Because this is a little overwhelming, all this. And uh, we don't need that. Um, but if you're interested, make sure to thumbs up this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel, comment and tell me uh if i get enough comments and and likes and thumbs ups and hoorays and that kind of thing i will make a whole series i'll start from scratch either in space or on a planet i'll take re uh suggestions if people want to see me start in space and then find my way down to a planet i'll do that if people want to see me start in some specific scenario or or with some goal in mind, I, I will take those suggestions and I uh, just might do them. And uh, yeah, if you guys wanna see it, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make one more video. And in that video, I'm going to take that. Now that, that pile of stuff up there is believe it or not, a rocket ship. If we get underneath it, you can see all the thrusters. Those yellow ones are hydrogen thrusters, and the blue ones are called atmospheric thrusters. You can kind of think of them as a jet engine from, you know, a jet. <laughs> and uh, they work better in atmosphere, hence the name. Hydrogen thrusters work better. Well, they just work really well, but they require hydrogen. Those are hydrogen tanks on top of them. I spent a long time gathering the resources and putting together this monstrosity. It's big. It's really big. And I will give you a tour of it in my next video. In my next video, I'm going to give you a tour. I am then going to launch this. This thing has never been off the ground. I have never tried it. Uh, it is not a design I found on the internet. It is entirely my design. And it might just go splat. I might get up 100 meters, flip over, and crash into my base, destroying everything. Wouldn't that be cool to see? If you want to find out what happens, tune into my next episode, which should be up in a few days, and um, and see what happens. I'm curious, too. Uh, this thing's been sitting here while I... Uh, plan and strategize I've changed things I've you know I'm just I'm a little nervous honestly I'm nervous from what I've heard it is not easy to get into space from a planet so yeah it's gonna be interesting uh, let me see what else should I show you I mean, obviously you're probably looking at this and going what is all this stuff there's screens and things and it looks so complicated it is easy it is surprisingly easy. I know, I know, I'm saying it and you're going, no, it isn't. It is. I promise. Um, look, I built that thing. That right there is a mining ship. Because I don't want to go mining by hand all the time. So that guy right there, I can hop into it. I can fly over to where there's some ore. And, uh, and it's not too hard to find ore. You kind of look for these dark splotches on the ground. Kinda, I think there's one over there. Yeah, you can kind of see one over there. And, um, and you go over there and you use an ore detector or just your... Uh, this is a, a drill. And um, 
And it'll tell you what ores are there and where exactly they are. I mean, like, from a distance. And, uh, and then you just mine down and, and you can find stuff. Well, with this mining ship, I can gather hundreds of thousands of ore, while normally I can only carry maybe a thousand or ten thousand ore, I think, something like that. And, uh, and so this thing is you just real quick, you know, you just run over, you drill into the ground, you get your ore, come back up, and then I connect to that connector. I just have to fly it in, just, just like with the, the uh, vehicle over here. Just like with that vehicle there, except for when you're flying, it's, you know, a little different. And you connect up, and it grabs all of your ore, and it sticks it in the refinery, and turns it into ingots. And when you tell, when you walk into any container on your base, you hit production, you tell it you want to make a computer, it goes through your entire base, and it finds the necessary stuff and pulls it. You don't have to think about it. it. This is what I like about this game. It's kind of automated by default. Now you do have to connect up these connectors and that kind of thing, but but once you do that, it's smart for you. Anyway, what do you think? Do you want to see a series on this game? Do you want to see me crash that thing into the ground? If so, hit like, or thumbs up, or plus or whatever it is these days and subscribe to my channel and then come back and watch my next video which I will put up one way or the other and if I get enough I'll do a whole series I promise I promise and I won't even like charge you anything it's true and if you don't like it I'll give you all your money back okay now I'm just being goofy all right I'll see you next time where I either crash and burn or successfully get into space. Cool? Is it a deal? Awesome. I'll see you next time on Epic Tech.